How's it going, randomies? This is your host, Gizmo GX, and welcome to week one of VGC IBA season one. Where in this week we are taking on the Lancian, Lancian, Lancian Leafions, aka Kyogre Kawaii, and let me just say, this was a beauty of a battle, at least from my perspective. I have such huge admirations for Kyogre Kawhi now after this week's battle. I've seen his potential, his strength, his power, his his dedication to this platform, all right? When it comes to VGC, man, I have seen his dedication. I have grown huge respect for my boy after this battle. Now, in this video, I'm not going to contain the full battle. If you really want to see the full battle, definitely go ahead and check out Kyogre's perspective, which will be in the description below. Now, to give you a little bit of context, in terms of why I'm not doing a full battle or including the full battle is because, for one, my commentary didn't do this video justice, really. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It did not do it justice. Now, second of all, the commentary was clicking in and out, so hopefully this video, or at least my commentary in this video, it does a little bit better. I had no idea why it's glitching in and out. It's been happening recently. I don't know if it's my computer or it's my mic. I might have to get a new mic. After all, I've had this mic for like two years now. So I might need to upgrade at some point. But anyways, that's all I really wanted to say. And let's get on to the video. Alrighty. So the team that I decided to bring along was Garatina with the lefties. Ladias with the Soul Dew. Which by all means, when I saw that it could have Soul Dew, I think that's pretty OP. Now, after that, I brought Torkat with the EVLI, Entei with the Heavy Duty Boots, Slopo Galarian with the Quick Claw, and Alkarimi with, well, G-Max Alkarimi with the Weakness Policy. Now, I designed this team with the help of Goki Gamer, so shoutouts to my boy. So definitely go ahead and check out his channel, show him some love, uh, tell, him Giz tell him Gizmo sent you, and yee. So, yeah, with the help of Goki, I managed to build this team, and based off what he showed me, I kind of changed things around and to my liking, and I made it work. So, again, thanks, Goki, for helping your brother out in this battle, and especially this week. Even though I feel bad because I did not use this team to the best of its potential. So, yeah, I feel bad, and I still feel bad, and I'll probably carry that throughout this whole entire BGC. <laughs> <laughs> I won't I don't think I'll let that one die on my own. So that's that. So now uh going into round one of the of this match because in order if you guys have not checked out my draft analysis where I go ahead and explain the rules for how this VGC uh tournament is gonna be taking place and how what how it's the winners decided, definitely go ahead and check out the draft analysis. But to cut things uh short all that we have to do is win the best two out of three matches. And if we so happen to take two and two, we take one final one. Winner takes home the W. That's pretty much as I can say it. So now going into round one, uh, I honestly really didn't think too much about his team. I, I'm not going to put any input on that. I just went into this match blindly. And I was just like, all right, I'm a, I feel a little rushed. I, well, it's not, it's not Kyogre's uh, reasoning. Uh, it's not. It's not Kyogre's fault whatsoever. I just had a busy week, and honestly, I just wanted to get this battle over with. Uh, he did tell me if, he wa if I wanted to reschedule, but I was just like, nah, it wouldn't make a difference. Uh, I'm just exhausted as it is. Uh, mentally, of course. Mentally. So, I was drained, and I was just like, alright, thanks Goki for helping me build this team. Let me just gen it, and then get on to the battle. So, that's a little bit of context into this week one's battle. So, there's a lot of things that happen, alright? A lot of stupid things and a lot of uh, highlightable moments that I feel like were worthy of being highlightable. So going into round one, I was deciding what mons I should choose. And I said, you know what? The dragon and dragon pairs seem like a powerful startup. And I went with Garatina, Latias, followed up by Galarian, uh, Slowbro, and Alcremi, G-Max. So that was my squad. I brought in my first four mods. Again, if you're kind of confused of why I brought four and not all six, definitely go ahead and check out my draft analysis video. I'm not going to go ahead again and repeat myself. So definitely go ahead and check out that draft analysis video regarding any rules relating to this. So, yeah. So going into round one, again, wow, I feel like I'm repeating myself so many times. I'm sorry, guys. All right. So, uh, yeah, the battle happened and he opened up with a, a pair that I never thought would be a, a pair, an opening pair that I would admire. And it was the Thunderous and Kingler. It was such a bizarre opening, but at the same time, I could see why he did it. 
because once I decided my moves, I was like, all right, let's try to do some max damage over here. All right, so that, nothing special was going on my end. But what was going on in Kyogre's side, man, he he G Max right off the bat, went with a max airstream and raised the speed stats of his opponent, or well, not his opponent, but his allies and then himself included. And I was just like, okay, well, uh, frick, I forgot about G Max. Dang, why didn't I think about that earlier? And that led one one thing led to another. So, Ladias got destroyed that turn. I got destroyed. I got cream pied, like legit. And it wasn't just Ladias that that suffered through that. My slow bro, slow bro suffered through that. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of filter things that happened around one that I don't feel like were worth mentioning But I just want to say round one I got so decimated even though it lasted a very long time in round one Where I ended up having Garatina and Al Creamy as my saviors for this uh, For keeping me up alive for so long now Garatina definitely deserves the medal of defense because my boy was taking on hits left and right now regardless of the situation Garatina was definitely MVP of my squad. Took hits. That's why I feel like Kyogre decided to ignore it because he could have dealt with it later on. So, yeah. So, I managed to kill off two of his mods, both the, his two openings. And that's all I managed to do. I mean, I, at some point, I felt like I did have a chance of winning this. But, nah. Nah, it was far. It was far too gone. It was far too gone. When I lost Latias and Slowbro, I think that was, that was GG. Honestly, GG. So that was round one and concluded with Kyogre taking the W that round. So now he got one of the two matches that he needs to claim the victory for week one. So now going into round two, I kind of had an idea that he was going to bring in the same squad and the same two uh, openings as he did in round one. And so I decided to say, you know what, I haven't brought these two mods, in particular Entei and Slowbro Galarian, and they really didn't sh do much. So I brought these two. And despite knowing that he was gonna, I had a chance, I had a feeling, I had a gut feeling he was gonna bring in those, his opening mods from round one. And, uh, before I go in to clarify what happened in round one, I mean, round two on the openings, uh, I also brought in Torikat and Latias because I feel like they didn't show too much screen time, uh, in round one. So I decided to bring them along as my backup mods for round two. So now going into the openings, as I have felt my gut feeling was telling me, he did end up bringing in his opening mods from round one. And one thing led to another. You know, long story short, same exact strategy. Such a beautiful freaking strategy that I am kind of jealous I did not think of something similar <laughs> beforehand. Not exactly in his mods, but in some type of chemistry I could have done it on my end. But, oh well. I didn't know not that much about VGC and how this work so this battle definitely educated me a lot of what i could do for round two i mean for uh week two so anyways one as i said one thing led to another where instead of like in round one i lost both ladias and slowbo galeria in this round i lost both entei and ladias again <laughs> ironically ladias just don't, they don't love ladias all right they just want to get rid of the threads i i know how threatening ladias can be i see the point but the difference in this round is I ended off with Slowbro, Galarian, and Torakat on my end and only managed to kill one. And the only mod that I managed to kill on my opponent's end was the Kingler. Now, here's where the interesting of round two. So with Galarian and Slowbro still on the on the field, now it, Galarian and Slowbro was the Garatina in this round because it survived to the end, as I have already said. And I I did Icy Win, you know, I, I did Icy Win and I didn't realize that lowering the stats of Thunderous, I was actually increasing the, actually, I really didn't lower anything from Thunderous, I believe, I think, I don't remember, but the video, the, whatever you're seeing, it's probably going to contradict what I'm saying, but regardless if it was lowering your speed or not, which I don't know, I don't remember right now, <laughs> so... But what I do know is that uh, Thunderous's Defiant ability kicked in and it did a number on your boy. And I, towards the end of round two, I didn't notice it. But until I went party shot on Thunderous to try to just get it out of here, I didn't notice Defiant was being activated every single time. So, yeah. 
I, I got destroyed. I ended up giving this man a plus six thunder wrist, which resulted in me getting demolished. And well, yeah, that and this round two concluded with Kyle Yoker getting the second W he needed and ended up winning week one. Now, GG's to Kyogre because that strategy, man, whether it was simple or not, I don't know from, at least from my perspective, it was a beauty of a strategy. It was so beautiful. I am jealous. I am so jealous. So he definitely lives up to his reputation as being a great battler in terms of the VGC platform. So he's a great battler in general. I have high respects and I see, I hope to see him again in the playoffs as long as I get my crap together. All right. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. With Goki's guidance, I think I got something going. With Goki's guidance, I got something going. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know this is going to be a very short video, but I promise you, week two ain't, is going to contain the full battle this time around. I'll make sure my equipment works, all right? I got the footage, but not the commentary. But anyways, all right, randomies. This has been Gizmo GX, and I'll see you on the next one in week two. Peace. Peace.